Hello, my fellow weirdos. Oh, I'm sorry. I should say hello, my fellow puzzlers. Hi, I'm Flower the Weirdo. Um, I mostly do Sims 4 videos and other video game videos, but I've decided uh, I wanted to start a puzzling channel. Now, I've been building puzzles since I was very little. We always do it as like a family thing. A whole bunch of us will get together. Usually it's just me and my mom. But, um, yeah, recently I've decided I... Well, I noticed there was a lot of people on Facebook doing puzzling videos, so I thought maybe I would come and do some myself. Because I do like puzzling and I do want to try doing some by myself and, you know, I feel like I can get them done a lot faster by myself, but shh, don't tell my family that. Um, just because I, I feel like if I can sort them into, like, the different colors and stuff, it it would work better than, you know. Anyway... Uh, I do have fun uh, building puzzles, but that is not why I'm here. I mean, it is why I'm here, because I'm here to talk about puzzles. Uh, I do want to point out, since this is a new channel, um, when I call you a weirdo, um, I'm doing it with the utmost respect, because being weird means you're different from the normal, and that's a good thing, you know? It's good to be weird and different and do fun different things, so... I probably will call you weirdos more often than I call you puzzlers because it's just ingrained in my brain after three years of YouTube videos <laughs> to say hello my fellow weirdos. So I probably will do that. I am Flower the Puzzler on this channel but my actual name is Flower the Weirdo. Um, eventually I'm gonna make another sign to put in front of that one because I have two of those boards and it'll say Flower the Puzzler. But for now, we're going to be Flower the Weirdo. Um, sorry, I just had a really cool idea, but, you know, that's how things go. Anyway, I decided my very first video, my very first video on this channel, should be an unboxing. So recently, I had a family reunion up in, um, up here. <laughs> that's how people in Michigan say where they live. So it was up here. <laughs> I live near Detroit, in case you're wondering. Um, anyway, I live, wait, down here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, actually, this is Michigan right here. This is how people point it out. Of course, you can't point when you're doing the the uh, Upper Peninsula. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think it's because I'm not doing video games, and it's it's kind of a little nerve-wracking. A little, little scary doing something completely different and out of my realm of expertise, I guess you would say. I, well, I always tell people on my channel I'm a very bad video game player, so I'm probably going to be a really bad puzzler too. But this first video, um, so I went up north, right? And I went to the family reunion and my aunt, who is also my godmother-in-law, I call her that because um, my godfather, she was married to my godfather who passed away. So she's my godmother-in-law, and um, she asked if anyone wanted some puzzles, which was very odd because I'd been thinking, I want to start a puzzling channel, but I only have like two puzzles. <laughs> so uh, while I was up there, I bought two more puzzles, which I'll show you later on, and um, she said, does anyone want any puzzles? And I said, sure. So she gave me two boxes. Here, let me show you. This is box number one. Yeah, pull it back a little. It's not too big, so I don't know how many puzzles are in it. And then box number two, Ooh, if I can get to it, since this is going to be an unboxing, by the way, um, this is box number two. I can pick it up. So this is box number two. Yeah. <sighs> Eventually, I'll have like a whole puzzling setup, but for now, you'll have to deal with my video game setup. Um, <laughs> so yeah, she told me that these were all just random puzzles. They, she said, they're not anything great. I just got them off the free shelf. So she got them all for free. She was going to take them back to the place where she gives them for free. I think it's a library. Um, but she said she'd give them to me instead so I could do them. And I might, if I don't like them, I might donate them back to another library just to keep the puzzling going. Uh, but if I do like them, I probably will keep them. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I haven't, I haven't looked in here at all. 
Okay, so the very first one we got. Oh, this one looks fun. It's called Midnight's Delight. And it is by Springbok. Springbok is one of um, the actual puzzling company that I know. Um, I know there's a lot of other ones out there that I don't know quite yet. Because like I said, I haven't been quite into the puzzling thing. Um, there's like no writing on it at all. Um, the reason I look for writing... And I'll, I'll show you these later, but my mother and my grandmother, when they would do puzzles, they would write on the box, like either how long it took them or how good the pieces fit together, stuff like that, like little notes. And um, they would write them inside the box, but this one doesn't have any writing and it's actually in a Meyer bag. So that's good. Or a Ziploc bag. Um, Meyer is the store around us. Okay. So anyways, yes, yeah, so we, my mother and I, over the past, during the pandemic, I believe, we decided to just put together all the old puzzles she had. She had some really old puzzles, and I will show them, we, um, when she finishes a puzzle, though, she glues it, so they're all glued together. Um, but I will show you those, and I'll show you, like, the writing, the handwriting from my grandmother and my great-grandmother. Um, but let's go ahead and get back into the puzzles. So the next one we have is called Wine Country. This one looks pretty cool. It looks like it's got fine quality, new, thicker pieces. So hopefully that's good. It's a 1,000 piece puzzle by, who is it by? White Mountain Puzzles. Um, this one does have writing on the box and ooh, it says one piece missing. That's fine. I, f I figured there'd probably be like eight pieces missing. Oh no, I dropped it. But luckily, it's in another Ziploc bag. So, oh, and this one has a piece of paper with it too. Oh, it's like an order form to order more, to order more puzzles. So that's cool. Uh, these are actually pretty cool. I really expected them to be, you know, really, really ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I like these ones a lot so far. All right, we got another spring box here. This one is cool. It reminds me of my, um, <laughs> sorry, I just read the note. There's a note on it, but it reminds me of the place where I used to work. I used to work at Borders Books, um, and a bargain bookstore too. I worked at a lot of bookstores. It's by Springbok again. Um, this one says one missing piece, six one of 22. Now, if you look right here, they circled the piece that's missing. <laughs> so that's really cool. I don't know if my aunt did that or if somebody else who did it. Um, this one is tape shut, so I'm not going to break it open. But I'm pretty sure it's in another bag. Um, did I show you this end? Spring back 1000. A lot of 1000 piece puzzles, so that's cool. This one is really cool. I love stamps. This is by White Mountain. And it's like, it's almost like a quilt of stamps. So that's really cool. They're all love stamps. That's cool. And it's the finest quality, larger pieces. Let me show you this side of the box. Uh, there you go. Another 1,000 piece puzzle. Temple d'amour. By the way, I'm learning French. So if something's in French, I want to read it. Oh, and there are two missing from this one. I figured there would be. It's in a nice... Whoop. I'm so bad at like aiming towards the camera but like I said once I get a better setup um, I have to make room for it but once I get a better setup it'll be easier to do unboxings which hopefully I'll do more of because I really like this I'm having fun okay and this is another 1000 piece puzzle by Springbok and it's makeup for all you makeup wearers out there I don't wear makeup um, you probably will never see me wearing makeup I do call um, I consider myself non-binary um, I don't feel like I'm male or female, um, and if you don't like that, I'm sorry, but I really don't. Um, I am neither, but I go by she, her pronouns just because like, I don't like change. Okay. So this one is taped shut also. Oh no, it's not. Oh, oh I threw the lid. Another bag of puzzles. Oh, that's cool. 1000 piece spring back puzzle. Um, there are no notes on this one, so it might be another good puzzle. 
um, not missing pieces. I don't know, someone might not have labeled it. Here's a cute springback, 500 piece. Oops, let me put it the right way around. Springback, 500 piece puzzle. Sorry, I got distracted by 58. I think it's 58 years. So we have a springback puzzle. I don't remember what it's called, but I think it's like on the mountainside. If I can find a picture on the internet, I'll put it up here. Um, it's my favorite puzzle. We used to build it a lot when I was a kid and we always took it apart. We never glued that one. It was, it was just the best puzzle because it has lots of fun stuff. Okay. So that's the end of box number one. And then we got box number two, which I'm excited about. Um, it's probably a little bit less in here. Oh, there's books in here too. Oh, cool. Okay. So we have The Country Peddler by Norman Rockwell. And this is a Hoyle puzzle. I didn't know Hoyle made puzzles too. Oh, shows you how much I know about the puzzling world. I am so new to this. So we have the finding interlocking pieces, which is really cool. Um, there's no notes on the box. And it is, oh, the box is ripped. It is in another bag. So that one's cool. Uh, the pieces actually look super thin though. Like, I don't know if you can see them through the bag. But they do, they do look really thin. And that's the, the only bad thing about that one. Oh, I just realized it's a man wearing. <laughs> I just realized the picture. He's like dressed up like the lady's trying things on him. That's cute. But, um, yeah. The only thing I don't like about the, the re when they're really thin is like when you put it in the wrong place accidentally. And you go to take it out and it bends the piece. Oh, this one's pretty. It's like a fish thing. My sister would like this one. She likes fish. Um, this is called Coral Carnival. It is by Springbok. 500 piece. I think I'm going to start when I start doing the puzzles is do the um, 500 piece ones. Uh, so yeah. This one doesn't have anything inside. Nope. No writing. Another Ziploc bag. So that's nice. It's nice when people do that instead of just leaving them play wildly. Oh, I guess there's only two in this box. Uh, so we have Tropical Wonders, which, um, by the way, I think, oh no, this is a, this is a different one. There's one at Walmart that's on sale that I was going to buy. Um, but this is by Hallmark. Again, I did not know Hallmark did puzzles. I don't know what anybody does puzzles. Tropical Wonders, 1000 piece puzzle. It also has a gift tag to Carol S. So Carol S, I ended up with your puzzle. Um, it's called Tropical Wonders. It's actually really pretty. I like this. I like this one a lot. I can't wait to do this one. It's a thousand pieces. Okay, so, and then the rest is books. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll probably be giving those away because these are not my type of books. Actually, this one looks interesting. Memoirs of a German War Bride. Um, my aunt probably had this because our, our family is German. So, um, yeah. Now I have to get to the other two puzzles. Because I do want to reveal two of my other puzzles. So it's like a puzzle haul video. Uh, let me see if I can reach it. Without falling out of my chair. Because that would be funny. Why do I have my headphones on? I don't need my headphones on. I'm not gaming. Okay. One more. So I'm going to start with this puzzle I've had for a very long time. It's very daunting to me and I really want to do it, but I really don't want to do it. You know, it's one of those ones. Um, it's by Aquarius. It's a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I got it in Borders and it's called Fractal Illusions. And if you see here, I still have the Borders price tag on it. Now, I didn't pay that much because I had a discount for working there. Um, yeah, I'm excited to do it. I also have a James Dean one where each picture is like a little tiny picture. So that one's really super hard too. I think it will be. Um, I don't know where that one is, but if I can find it, I will show you guys too. 
Um, so yeah, I got fractal images, fractal illusions. Oh, and it's by, who's it by? Aquarius. I think I said that. I didn't show you the side of the box. As you can tell, it's still in its wrapper. So that's really cool. Um, and then the ones I bought this weekend, this past weekend, um, we have the Amazing Nature from Buffalo. It is a 500 piece puzzle. And it's actually really, really pretty. That's why I picked it up. I wasn't going to get it because I was going to get one that my mom liked, which I'll show you next. But then um, I just ran back and got this one too. Um, so this is the one we actually did. As you can tell, the pieces are, you can hear them loose in there. But it's called Country Life. It's a really cool puzzle too. Um, it's by Buffalo. Again, I'll hold that up. Uh, so me and my brother did this. It took us about four hours. But it took us about four hours because we had to keep running. And um, I take care of my mom, my um, elderly mother. So it's I had to keep jumping up and helping her. And he would he would kindly not puzzle <laughs> until I got back. Um, I'm sure he probably put a couple of pieces in. But um, then we stopped for lunch too. So I didn't I didn't keep like perfect track of the time or anything. We just did it. And this is once I decided I was going to be making a um, puzzling channel. I bought this one. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces of art. And I'm very excited and I can't wait to do it. But I'm going to wait until I get some more of the 500s done. But it is Starry Night. Sorry you can see the reflection of my TV in these ones because of the, the plastic wrap. But it is by Eurographics. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I'm excited to do this. And when I was talking to my uncle about it, because my whole family, like I said, my whole family loves puzzling. But when I was talking to my uncle about it, he said it was a really good puzzle and he enjoyed doing it. So that's cool. It was also neat. It was neat because he asked me what I was going to do for my um, puzzling channel. Because I personally, I didn't even know people did puzzling channels. I did not realize there was an actual, like puzzling community out there so um I'm very excited about it I, all I can think of is puzzling it's like <laughs> I write sim stories on Instagram so you can check those out I'll link them down below I link them in all of my videos I'll link them in these ones too but um it's like I have two mindsets right now I have making my sim story over here and puzzles here and that's all I can think of I switch between the two I'm like, how am I going to set up my puzzling workshop? Do I have a camera? And I'm going to go and look and see if I have another camera like the one I have up here. It is a, um, I think it's a Razer Kia, Kio, something like that. Um, I can't think of the name of it. Oh, I can look on here. Video capture device. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't think I can look while I'm recording. But yeah, it's it's a little circle razor, razor thing. And I'm pretty sure I bought one that was on clearance just in case this one broke. Because I do do that a lot. Um, if I saw something on clearance back when I actually had money, um, I would do that. But yeah, I'm currently um, unemployed. I have a shoulder injury, which is actually bothering me now from holding up these puzzles. But I don't care because I was having fun doing it. But yeah, once I get that camera, if I have that camera, I'm going to set it up and I'm going to do a bunch of, I'm going to try to do, um, see, I would call them speed puzzles, but speed puzzling is something completely different. Um, I think they call them time-lapse puzzles where I'll just show the time-lapse of me doing the puzzle. Um, see, in The Sims, when you build a house, it's called a speed build when you take the build and like speed it up. So... In puzzling world, it's a little bit different because uh, speed building is when you build really fast, which I also want to work on doing, uh, depending on my shoulder, because I'm not sure how fast I can go with my shoulder. But um, yeah, so I, I also want to try and do stop motion ones, which I don't know if I will be able to, but I would like to try because I make stop motion videos in The Sims and I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, um... If you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. 
Well, maybe not so much. Well, yeah, I'll be doing anytime I get like a a bunch of puzzles, I will probably uh, do another puzzle reveal like that because that was really fun. It was neat seeing them for the first time too because I've been holding them for about four days now. I'm like, I'm not going to look at the puzzles. I'm not going to look at, I really want to look at the puzzles. I'm not going to look at the puzzles. But yeah, so it's uh, actually a lot more puzzles than I thought because I really thought they'd only fit like two, two or three puzzles in each box. The little box was only two. Big box had a lot in it. Anyway, so yeah, um, I guess that's about it. I really just want to talk some more and tell you guys more about me, but I'm not going to. You guys can learn over time. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll probably be doing a lot more like it along with my Sims video. So if you want to check out my Sims videos, um, they'll be linked down below. But also, it's um, um, just search YouTube for Flower the Weirdo and it should pop up. Um, my little guy is um, actually, so my microphone right here. Beep. Oh, it went out of here. Uh, it's a flower with an alien on it. I will put it up right there. No, right there. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, so check out that channel if you're interested in stuff like that. If you like reading, um, I basically, it's kind of like a comic book, but I hesitate to call it a comic book because it's not quite comic-y, but I make, um, comics. I'll put, like, a just kind of brief little thing over there just to show you what I'm talking about. Not that you guys really care because this is the puzzling channel. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and by the way, um... I own probably 150 of these different things, so every video that I have my face in, I will be wearing one of these. I wore my flowers today because I'm introducing you to myself. Uh, my nickname is Flower. My real name is Patty. So I thought about calling this channel Puzzling with Patty, which would be really cool. But I like my online name to be Flower because it's been my online name since like 1993. Well, 1995. Uh, has been flower. So, yeah, and it's spelled F-L-O-W-U-R. Don't forget about that. Um, it's it's right there. <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> well, it would be neat if I could get like a little, um, a puzzle thing, because there's a flower here and a poop down there. Um, if I could get like a little puzzle piece for the flower, the puzzler, because that would be really cool. Anyway, yes. So if you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel to see more. Don't forget to click the notification bell because I don't know how often I will post videos. And, um, yeah. Oh, as I finish all my other videos, I would like to tell you to remember to always stay weird because weirdos rule. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time in my puzzling world, I guess. Anyway. Bye guys, thanks for watching.